G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cutting with Cha Cha. I'm here today again at the Matrix Technical Center in Sydney, Australia, and I'm gonna share with you a super exciting haircut on our Model B. She's come to us today with a one length classic haircut, and my challenge is to reinvent that, make it more modern by using a combination of texture, layering, and I can't take credit for the color because it's already done. So when you see her color is gonna be amazing. So without further ado, I'm gonna go and grab her, bring her in, and we're gonna get started. Hey, how you going? Good. You all right? Yeah. It's a bit of Australian for you. This is B. <laughs> um, as I described, beautiful uh, classic one length bob shape. Little bit of layering in there through the front. Um, when B came in this morning, her hair was, uh, virgin hair, it was uncolored. Uh, Philip, one of the technicians here at Matrix in Sydney, has done a beautiful color. We just wanted to shift the base a little bit and warm her up. Um, I'm going to prep B's hair. I'm going to be using the Color Obsessed Shampoo Conditioner from Matrix. As I always say, having the hair in the best possible condition makes our job as hair cutters so much easier. So I'm going to get her behind us here into a basin, and then when I come back, she'll have wet hair, and I'm going to have a chat to you about how I'm going to start this haircut, and then you guys can sit back, relax, and watch me do what I do. Back from the basin, uh, we prepped again with uh, Matrix Color Obsessed Shampoo and Conditioner. It's beautiful, it doesn't feel heavy, and the comb slides through nice. Starting with the fringe, we're going to have something quite short and going longer to the sides and shape it in around the front. We want to leave these this length here, I don't want to cut it away. So actually the idea is to use the short hair to direct the long hair out of the face, layering it quite short on the top, and then at the very end, I'm just going to go and adjust the length. So starting on the front.
Like most haircuts I do, they're wash and wear, right? So I haven't actually done anything other than flat brush the hair using B's uh, head and face shape to mold the hair to. However, um, she could absolutely wear it like this. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a little adjustment to a fringe. Do a bit of slicing there first. Uh, and then I'm gonna have a chat to you about alternative ways to suggest to your client how they can wear the hair if they want to. Because the whole idea of this is wash and wear is not shampoo, condition, towel dry, um, and then spend 25 minutes styling it. That's not wash and wear. That should be optional, not a prerequisite to whether or not you can leave the house in the morning. So, you know, we, we can tuck this behind her ears. We've got like um, volume here now. Like even just like using a product to get this up off her scalp, I think you, you can like leave like that. So before I go and um, style it and probably make it look how it's not intended, I'm, only gonna, I'm not gonna do too much. It's just that for me, I want it to, like obviously the volumes here, the shapes in there, the bangs are for the eyes and here's for the cheekbones. But I just like it if these would just not be so straight and because of beast hair, it's gonna fall straight. So let me grab something real quick and I'll come back and show you what I'm doing. Just with a little round brush like this, just turn the blow dry down on really low. And all I want to do is just on here, if I can grab it, we just want to give this a little bit of an outward turn. It's probably a bit too much. Let's just, just so we can have a little bit of movement here. Doesn't make sense just yet, but you'll see. You'll see what I'm, what I'm doing. And then same here, we're just, just a little bit there. And then we're just going to mess this around a little bit and blast it. So I did some layering in the top. The whole idea of the way I lay your hair, and one of the things that I showed you this time that I haven't done before, um, or I haven't probably showed you before, is actually use some texturizing scissors, which are really cool. Um, if you want to try these, if you're a hair, hair cutter, um, the beautiful thing about these is they actually give texture. They're not going to thin the hair. Uh, however, if you go one, two, three, 90% of the hair is gone. So I basically just use these to create separation. Um, I'm very selective about the hair type that I use them on. You can't use them on all hair type. B, having strong textured hair, it can stand a lot of, we stand a lot of texture. You don't have to worry about making it frizzy or, or um, you know, wiry looking. So combination of layering and texture, as I said, the most important thing is to make sure she could wear it smooth. There's no chunks, there's no holes in it and all that texture that I did is underneath. Matrix set of mousse. We're gonna use it like a texture spray because we don't want it, it's, it's, and look, there's nothing wrong with it being smooth and under and whatever, it still looks cool, but we want it to be a bit gritty and a bit fun. So a little bit at a time, using this to glaze over our hands. And we're gonna scrunch this in through these sides, see if we can make it sit out a little bit. Have this coming in. Fringe is super cool. These we can mold with our hands a little bit. Some volume on the top. I actually like it when it's tucked behind her ears. That's cool too. You really get to show off her cheekbones when you do this because you've got the hair here, you've got the hair there. And then, you know, you've got this little bit of like fun movement just poking out from behind her ears. So it's not like, it's a bit more playful and fun. It's not like so smooth and serious. A little bit on my fingers to make that do what I want. Not too much, we just want the areas where we want the shape to sort of be quite strong and not be as flexible, which for me is like cheekbones to forehead. So we wanna make sure this is quite fun. See what I did in the back. Just a little bit of spray here in the back, a bit of separation. Let's get some volume, let's tuck this behind. Bring this up, just the hand so it sits out a bit. And it's fun. So it actually like, even though I probably took around two or three centimeters off in the back, it actually looks a little bit longer. And that's what happens when we elongate the hair and we change the shape of it and make it look um, less uh, triangular and square. And then it becomes elongated and, and more oval in shape. So um, thanks once again for tuning in guys. If it's the first time you've seen one of my videos, please make sure you subscribe. Um, it really helps if you subscribe, like this and share it with someone you think uh, may also benefit from it. Maybe one of your friends wants their hair cut this way, or maybe you know a young hairstylist that could maybe incorporate some of what I've done into what they're doing so that they can help 
um, achieve those haircuts that their clients are asking for because that equals income into the till and you know we've all got to make a living and hey at the end of the day that's what we are we're, we're there to try and um, do the haircuts that our clients are asking for and I hope this makes that little bit better um, until next time though from B&I and Jimmy behind the camera it's see you mate